Hi guys and welcome back to the United family and today I am going to be doing a preview of Manchester United versus Wolves and this is about a match basically nothing to fight for since this is the last game of the Premier League and it's all settled it's going to be in the same place Wolves are going to be finishing 12th in the Premier League Manchester United are going to be finishing 2nd in the Premier League so there's nothing to fight for and Manchester United will be going with one of their weakest teams because, as you know guys, we have a final a final of the Europa League against Villarreal on the 27th so you need to be going with your strongest ever team to win that match and for that we need to rest all our players and so there aren't any injuries in this match so they can't play out in that match so we'll be playing all of our youngsters in this match. It doesn't matter if we lose, I don't care. Because we have a very big um, final to fight for. So Manchester United will be going with their weakest team. I shouldn't probably be saying the word weak, but they're not going to be going with their strongest team. They're going to be going with some of the under 23 players, with some of the um, players in the start uh, that usually start but they're just playing around um so yeah this is the wolves preview manchester united versus wolves preview and uh like i was doing before i'm gonna add one more segment into the previews called what happened in the last match between these two teams so i'm gonna be adding that segment and we're gonna have two others which are Manchester United's form as well as Manchester United's starting lineup for this game. And let's get into the video, guys. So, guys, now for the starting lineup, I have Henderson in goal, not David De Gea, since we like play Henderson in the Premier League and for other cups and games we have um, David De Gea. So we give like a fair chance to both goalkeepers, who are really good. And we also have in the right back we have Brandon Williams who is like a first team player, but he plays in the under 23. And we've got Axel Swanza being a body. What I think Solskjaer is gonna do for the centre back uh, for the centre back against Villarreal, he is playing Eric Bailey and Axel Swanzabi. He might be playing Eric Bailey and Axel Swanzabi. Um so so who plays better in this match will be partnering with uh, Victor Lindelof in the Villarreal final game for the European League and in the left back we've got Alex Telles we've not got our regular player Luke Shaw he's very good we've not got him since we're preserving him for the final uh, so we've got Alex Telles and then in the midfield we've got Fred and, Mc, uh, Fred and Matic not McTominay Matic Fred and McTominay's partnership hasn't been really good so we are like using Fred and Matic, I'm presuming like McTominay for the match against Villarreal probably. And we've got Van der Beek also in the midfield. We don't want to be, you know, using Bruno Fernandes in this match. If he gets injured, that is it. We're doomed. We will not be winning the Europa League. So we have to definitely preserve Bruno Fernandes, which leaves Van der Beek, another player like him, coming inside. And for the strike force, we've got Mata, Greenwood and Ahmad Diallo. So Mata will be playing in the left wing, Ahmad Diallo in the right, and Greenwood as a striker. I don't think how Mata's going to do in the left wing. I don't think he's going to play in the left wing. Probably Rashford could be playing. But Rashford is one of our best players in the team, alongside Bruno Fernandes and other players. And we have to definitely preserve him for the match against Villarreal. And that leaves someone like Mata playing in the left wing and Ahmad Diallo in the right wing. Um, Greenwood is the right wing for us. That leaves Edinson Cavani as a striker. But since Cavani is also a really good player, we need to preserve him for um, the rear league final. Greenwood, our right wing, is a natural striker. By playing him in the striker, uh, striking area as a striker, We've got our right wing open, which Ahmad Diallo like flop him in in the right wing, and the left hand side. Oh, I hope Mata's gonna be playing. My 
lineup is like goalkeeper, so that's one, and then four defenders, three midfielders, and three strikers. But with the players I've given, it could also be one the goalkeeper, four defenders, five midfielders, and one striker. That striker would be Greenwood, and there'd be five, you know, like um, midfielders, five midfielders, Mata, Fred, Van der Beek. Matic and Abadiala, they alternate could be Van der Beek and Mata swapping their, pl their places right up there. As you can see, Johnny Van der Beek is the centre in the midfield, Mata is up on the right or left wing, so both of them can just change their positions, and that would also be one of the probable starting lineups. So that is my starting lineup, guys. So Manchester United's form hasn't been really good in the past few, past five matches actually. If one against one match against Aston Villa, we've lost three matches against Liverpool, Leicester and Aceroma and we drew one match against Fulham. Fulham are already relegated team, we've drew against them. And if you know in that match, Ellington Cavani if you watch the highlights of that match, Ellington Cavani scored a stunner. But even if he scored a really sloppy goal, it's still a draw and that goal, the, the beautiful goal, doesn't stand out against the sloppy goal because it's anyway a draw. So yeah, our form hasn't been really good. We can rock 10 surrounders in this match and somehow win the Europa League because we need silverware. And um, that is my form for Manchester United. Now I said that I'm going to add an extra segment. That is the last time these two players, these two, I mean, clubs play. And in that match, Manchester United had won that match, 1-0. And Wolverhampton Wanderers, that is Wolves, had lost that match. And probably, for me, I would say that that match was, mm, wasn't really good. Rashford scored a late winner, so we won that match. It was almost a draw, but we won that match somehow. Um, so our, four, our last match was 1-0, we won 1-0, Manchester United won 1-0 against Wolverhampton Wanderers, so that is the last time we played against Wolves. Thank you for watching this video guys, if you did enjoy it, hit that like button, share this video to people who know stuff about football, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below on what I should be doing, like what videos I should be doing or what kinds of improvements I should have in my videos and sort uh, stuff like that and we'll be seeing you next time.